Okay, so here's what I used for today's painting. First, you're gonna need some Floetrol, which is um, the pouring agent. It helps everything to flow better. I used uh, this Mont Marte, I guess. Um, acrylic white. I found that this brand doesn't tend to clump as much as the other brands, so that's why I'm using that. I'm using Amsterdam Thalo Blue. Chroma Metallic, what is it? Uh, why can I read the color? Oh, it's going to be Aged Bronze by Chroma. Um, then I used Chroma Metallic Xanadu Gold. Um, I used Sargent Green. If you're a beginner, sar I like Sargent colors. A lot of people don't, but I've had some cool stuff come out with Sargent when I use exclusively Sargent colors, so it's not too bad. And then I used a boatload ton of Liquitex Prussian Blue. Liquitex is probably one of the better brands, and I can see why, because it it looks great every every time I use it. I need a. I may start getting more Liquitex in more Amsterdam because those tend to be the best, uh, in my opinion. So from the tops, you see the Prussian blue, green. Uh, what was that? Xanadu gold, aged bronze, phthalo blue, and white. For one this size, I would normally use like. A solo cup but for this one I used a I cut out a sprite because it's gonna be it needs a lot of paint to go all the way over there and this is either going to be a disaster or it will be glorious and if it's a disaster it's no worries because I'll just scrape it off and do it again on another day <laughs> so uh, to start, I have, this used to be a painting of a giant sailboat and blue water. Now that we live in Virginia, it doesn't really fit with our decorations, so I painted over it. I painted that side, wait, this side is all phthalo blue, and I used three tubes of that Liquitex Prussian Blue, which is very expensive, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Okay, so I have my colors all lined out here. I did two white, one big phthalo. Oh, did I do one? No, I did one big phthalo, one little phthalo. I did one blue and two whites because we will use a lot of white and a green. So when you do, I use two parts flow troll, one part paint. Paint goes very fast. The uh, flow trial goes very fast, and it is expensive. So, what you do when you mix is you just mix it really good. I find, like I said, this white brand of white doesn't show clumps as much as the other brands because the other brands you'd see. All these little clumps and you gotta sort of smoosh them on the sides and stuff. So you don't see a lot of that in this white. And before you start, you know, just mix them all. See, this one's got some air bubbles in it. And you just mix it a little bit up. So first, what I want to do, and I'm just going to pour a straight line going across just to help this flow better. I'll put the white here, just a line. And now I'm going to put a layer of blue over on this side. And yeah, it looks lighter because we have the flow trough mixed in it. 
Oh, shoot. See what I just did? James will yell at me for that one. I don't care. I can fix it later. I can actually fix it now. I tell you what, I'm a little bit nervous because it's a lot of paint. I think I'll start with a layer of... Oh, what? Probably a little white first, maybe? Just enough to fill the bottom of that Sprite. And this Sprite thing should start to travel when it gets enough weight in it. And then I'll follow with this blue. This is the, uh, what do you call it? The Prussian blue. And then we'll go with How about the, uh, this is the aged bronze or something like that? I really don't want to do a muddy, that's what it's turning out to be. Well, it is what it is. Now I'm going to do green, I think. Now I'm going to do another little layer of white, I think. And then I'm going to do green. And I've got to move this a little bit or else it's going to take over the painting and do my gold and do my other blue and let's see what happens and do a little more white and a little more blue and what we're going to do is just sort of swipe it this way we're going to roll it this way and roll it on over that way and do it like this and hopefully we may have to do it from both sides or should I tip it I think I need to tip so I'm gonna maybe just tip it this way a little and get it to run off the side This might be a success, everyone. It might just be that success I was looking for. Maybe go a little this way. Get some more white covered. Tip it this way. Sorry about the closet, Joe. When he left, threw everything in there. And I have not had a chance to clean it up. All right, so when it dries, it should dry beautifully. I may do another pour of just the phthalo dark over here, uh, just to even out the texture a little bit. Boo boo, James, I'll fix it later. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we did not have a disaster. And this was the largest pour I've ever done. And for my first gigantic pour, I'm actually pretty happy with it.
So everyone, I hope you all enjoyed today's painting tutorial, and I'll see you next time on Adventures for the Curious. Have a good day.